Hey YouTubers, it's Aaron. Hey, uh, just wanted to give a quick update on uh, something new that I've come up with. Um, not new, but it's, I've kind of put together something here that may be of interest. So uh, I made a tripod of uh, PVC, some elbows and such, and uh, it works. It uh, doesn't do awesome. Um, I'm sure it'd have trouble in the wind, but uh, I think I'm gonna um, do a little adjustments on the bottom. On the bottom right here, um, I'm going to have a, a piece sticking out and have some weights under, underneath to uh, help keep a, the tripod in, in place. And uh, this piece of PVC right here, um, I may fill it with wood, I may fill it with uh, cement and put caps on the ends of it. I don't need anything on the inside of it. So, um, But what I've, what I've come to show off, obviously, is this, this whole, the whole deal. Um, it's uh, it's running inside my shed there off of off of shore power, but uh, both of them can be run off of uh, a 12 volt battery. Um, this camera is an Axis camera. It runs 5 volts, 1.5 amps, and the CPE runs um, anywhere from 12 to uh, 18 uh, volts. So, um, and most of the time I have it on a 12 volt. Uh, uh, power supply anyway so um, got it flashed with Arden firmware and what I wanted to show here was um, kind of a mess as as per usual but uh, what I wanted to do was come up with a, a mount to uh, to mount these cameras short of just bungeeing them to it or duct tape and blah 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 um, but and this is what I've come up with so far so it's 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 uh, working, um, and all it is is an angle piece of aluminum, and uh, I've cut it short, flattened it on the end here, and bolted it on. So uh, my my end result, I think, what I'm going to do is um, is possibly mount it above, and then lower the the antenna, or or just get a different size piece of PVC here and just mount it, mount it high. So uh, that way it sits flush against, there's no gap or anything like that. So, and uh, um, this guy right here, I just wanted to have a mount on here to, to be able to um, to use it without bungeeing it to it, um, which pretty much that's what the band, <laughs> that's what the, uh, that's what the uh, uh, rubber band is. But um, that's just a temporary thing. I think what I'm gonna do is put, there's fireworks, it's, uh, 3rd of July, so you may, may hear that. Um, I may end up putting um, some sort of a clamp on here or something like that to hold it above or below. Something, I don't know. I think what I've been doing, uh, or I think what I plan on doing is what I've been doing um, with uh, um, Walmart sells this uh, hook and loop, or Velcro if you want to call it that. Um, it's it's uh, one continuous there's hook on one side and loop on the other so you can wrap it to itself and generally what I'll do is um, I'll take this piece right here and this one right here and hold them on either end um, and just be able to to hang it so I'll have a I'll have one on either end uh, just for testing purposes inside the house because I can't have this mount in this inside but I'll put the velcros here and then hang it from one single strand of something up there and uh, it just sits there or I'll just place it on a table it doesn't really matter which way but I think going with the theme of, of velcro I think I may velcro this um, I wanted to do that with this but this guy's too heavy so um, I went with the hose clamps that uh, that come with it and uh, um, it's got kind of a curve to it which I don't really care for but I think if I fill it full of cement and on a stable or on a flat surface, it'll uh, it'll uh, keep its shape. Or if I put a dowel rod or something in there, we'll see. I don't know. It's testing right now, so proof of concept and all that stuff. Um, I think I may do the same thing down here with these legs. Um, I haven't got these PVC'd in place either, but uh, glued in place. Sorry, um, but I do have caps, and I may fill each one of those with cement also. But we'll see. I don't know. All right, so what the, what's going on here is I got a video camera. Plan is is to uh, over the weekend watch some fireworks, but be able to watch it from the neighbor uh, neighbor's um, 
point of view, I guess you wouldn't call it. Um, and what I've done is I've set this one, this set up, up, and I've got another one. This one's pointed at my house to my CP up here. I've shown that one before. But uh, let me take you up to the house here. And I've got another one set up pointing in a different direction, which is uh, towards the front of the house where the, the uh, flag is that on our patio so um, similar similar situation Ooh, it's already starting similar situation here I got this one pointed in the general direction of the other one it's going through the house but not a big deal and this one right here is uh, <laughs> wire wrapped <laughs> around so I've got this one it's a different camera actually um, different model number same same uh, axis camera but um, both both are similar setups um, the plan is to have all the wires all these uh, all the wires 12 volt and AC shore power wires cameras and uh, and uh, all that sitting in sitting in a, uh, a go a go box so all I have to do is disassemble these and uh, throw everything in a box with the CPEs and realistically it would probably only take about um, maybe maybe 10 minutes set up so anyways just wanted to give a give an update and let it, let everybody see what uh, what I'm working on have a good one guys Aaron KB9 MTD see you later